All right, we made it to the Midwest Medvor. Here's our whole team assembled. You guys excited? Yes. Ooh. Yes, beautiful fall colors here in the Pinkney Recreation Area in Michigan. I don't really know what all is in store, but it should definitely be an adventure. <laughs> Adventures out there. All right, let's go. So what is Medvor? So Medvor stands for Medicine Wilderness Adventure Race. And essentially what we're doing is racing through a wilderness environment, like it's a national competition. And along the way, we complete both wilderness and medical challenges. So we need to know wilderness survival skills like fire starting, water purification, as well as relevant uh, medical skills. So like splinting a broken leg, uh, treating diarrhea, how to stop bleeding, treat lacerations in the woods. I actually first heard about Medwar when I was on the interview trail for med medical school uh, at another school. And so it was on my radar because I thought, oh, wow, this seems so cool. Uh, but with the past few years with COVID and the pandemic, things uh, sort of got put on pause and just now the organizers are onboarding the races again. So I was super pumped we were able to organize a team and go compete this year. Let's Trying go. to find Let's the go. secret passageway. <laughs> We retrieved our grains and goods, the potato and banana hanging from the bridge. Yeah, watch out for that. So for the actual race, it was around 15-ish miles that we traversed by both uh, hiking and canoeing. We did get lost a couple times, uh, total probably like an hour that was added on to our journey from getting lost in the woods. Uh, but some of the things we did along the way were uh, splinting broken legs, uh, treating diarrhea, having to uh, start, do a rescue fire, starter fire, uh, you know, we even at the end had to build a flux capacitor, uh, essentially a potato battery, uh, which we built with a lot of rewards that we acquired along the route from completing the different challenges. We created a tourniquet to manage bleeding from one of our team members that uh, had his arm bitten off by a T-Rex. Uh, and we even did an emergency leg amputation out in the wild. Another thing that I really appreciated was all the volunteers were super into character uh, with the costumes, even accents. So at some stations we had uh, medieval witches that we were dealing with. Uh, at another station there were dinosaurs, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I would say some of my favorite parts of the race were uh, uh, one, like just the amazing fall foliage uh, and being able to go through the woods and, and see all those colors during the race. That was amazing. Uh, in terms of the challenges, my favorite thing we did was we had to do an emergency cricothyroidotomy. Uh, I actually talk about this in one of my other uh, videos, my Med Marvels about head and neck. Uh, so one, it, ever since I learned about that, I always wondered what it would be like to actually do that. Uh, and lastly, I had so much fun with the team I was with. You know, it was so much fun. I had an amazing team, uh, really forged some bonds and do it. definitely grateful for the Feinberg uh, family I have that I could do it with. And of course, I must say, I think we had the best team name we were team Champelobacter. So for you micro nerds out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, everyone, that is a wrap on Medvor 2022. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.